so what we've done, so we've made our camera, which is kind of up here at the moment, and it doesn't matter, its position doesn't matter because we're gonna align it to our, our spline. And our spline is our circle. So I'm just gonna sort of pull this up a little bit and I'm, I'll end up adjusting um, the position of this likely anyway. Right, okay, cool. So how do we get our camera on our circle spline? So we get to take advantage of even more tags inside of Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna right click on my camera and under animation tags, this is, so this was where we found our vibrate tag. So, you know, sort of like our wiggle expression. And we have our align to spline. So if I grab that, we can now see we have this um, align to spline tag on our camera. And inside our tag properties, so in our attributes manager, we have this um, spline path. And in here is where I'm gonna drag and drop my circle spline. And we can see immediately my camera has kind of snapped to my um, circle spline. And now we can take advantage of these um, settings here. So we have a um, position percentage slider. And so if I kind of just move this slider, you can see what exactly is happening. It's kind of adjusting the position of our camera on our circle spline. And we can animate this and we're going to animate this. But what I'm going to do, first of all, let's just take a little look inside my camera. So it's looking a little bit weird at the moment. We, we're not really seeing what we'd like to see. And if I adjust the position, it's not really staying looking at our, um, like the center of our, of our torus. And that's kind of what we want to be um, focused on. So we can use another tag. We can use a target tag. And I think I think we looked at them when we did um, lighting last week. Um, but if not, we did. Yep. Yeah, we did. I, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click. Actually, first of all, I'm going to set up my target. So let me come out of my camera. And I'm going to use a null as a target. And that's just because the null is nice and invisible, but, and so it's a perfect thing that we can use. And what it's done is it's dropped, the null is now completely in, in the center. So its position is um, zero on the X, Y, and Z. And that's perfect because that's the center of my torus um, and that's the center of my scene. So that's what I want to be like the, um, the focus point. And so on my camera, I'm gonna add another tag. So I'm gonna right click. And under animation tags, we have a target tag. And sort of similar to our aligned spline, we have this, um, this box for our target object. And our null is going to be our target. So let me just, I'm going to rename it target, just so we know. And I'm going to drag it, I'm going to drop it into my target object. And if you noticed, our camera, the position, the rotation of our camera suddenly just moved. So now if we come into our camera, it's now focused a bit more on our torus. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna grab our circle spline, because it's a little bit too close at the moment. I'm just gonna raise it up, just so we can have that in view. Now, back in our aligned spline, when we adjust our position, we can see that it's remaining focused on like it was mainly targeting our um, null that's in the center of our torus. Right. So now we can um, we can keyframe our position. So on frame zero, I'm just gonna on position zero percent, I'm gonna hit a keyframe. And then at frame 90. I'm going to pull this all the way up to, do you want 100%? No, let's do 50% because we don't want it to be kind of like spinning, otherwise our eyes are going to hurt. I'm going to hit a keyframe at that. Now, as we play through, we have our camera kind of rotating around our scene. 